Tello and Twigby are two affordable prepaid carriers with coverage on the Sprint network. They both offer customizable plans at affordable rates, full feature service with support for visual voicemail, group and picture messaging, as well as the personal hotspot, their own mobile application for easy account management, and they even include free calling or texting to international locations. So what makes them different? What makes them stand out? In this video, I'll be doing a full comparison between the two carriers, what their different features are, and which one you should sign up for. Okay, so first, what is the same? They both use the Sprint network for coverage, so talk, text, and data are all pretty much the same. They both support the features I mentioned earlier, and they both lack support for native Wi-Fi calling and voice over LTE. But despite these core similarities, the carriers are actually surprisingly different. The differences start with coverage. While they both use the Sprint network for providing their primary coverage, Twigby actually uses the Verizon network as a fallback for talk and text. Anywhere you don't get Sprint coverage, your phone will be able to fall back onto the Verizon network to make calls and send texts, something you can't do on Tello. What Tello can do though, is offer Wi-Fi calling through their mobile application. They're also working on offering texting as well. This greatly expands their coverage area as anywhere you have Wi-Fi, you can now make calls. Unfortunately, you cannot receive calls through their mobile application at this time, and the interface is a little cumbersome to use right now, but I do appreciate the added functionality. Speaking of mobile applications, this is another area where the two carriers differ. Right up front, Tello provides the far superior mobile application. I found the design to be better. It offers more features with Wi-Fi calling, it was faster, and it was just generally easier for me to use. I could open it up, go to the More tab, and be like, oh, that's what my usage is like. Awesome. With Twigby, the functionality is there, but the experience isn't as refined. It's basically a more focused version of their website. You can see on their website, when you're signed in, you get all these options, while on their app, it's more focused and you only get your account settings. So it is nice to have, but again, the design and ease of use just weren't as great for me. Like, yeah, I can see my usage, but it's not a nice visual representation like it is on Tello. However, something Twigby's app and online account do have going for them are their features. Twigby offers some incredibly unique features that I talk about in my full review video, and I think these features are what makes Twigby great for families. For example, you have full control of your line to turn on and off messaging, voice, and data. You can enable a data speed cap, and you can even manage features like visual voicemail and the personal hotspot. I think these features can be great for families with children, as parents can exercise more control over their kids' cell phone usage. What also makes Twigby extremely advantageous is you can have multiple lines on one account. This makes billing and account management a breeze. On Tello, I was surprised to learn they currently don't offer this feature. So if you're a family with kids, then each kid will need to have their own account, but with your billing info. I think this is less ideal as kids could potentially switch to a higher data plan to watch more YouTube videos or play more games. And I guess you could buy prepaid MasterCard so they couldn't, but it just seems like more of a hassle, more of a mess, not as streamlined and easy as it is on Twigby. What are also very different between the two carriers are their plans and features. So they both offer a build your plan approach to the market, allowing users to choose the exact amount of talk, text, and data they need with free unlimited texting included with all plans. However, the way the plans work is slightly different. On Tello, you select the amount of minutes and data you want, and that's it. That's your plan for the month. You do get free unlimited 2G data, but if you want more minutes or texts, you either need to renew your plan early or add pay as you go credit. What happens if you renew your plan early is you can actually sign up for a completely new plan. So change your amount of talk or data if you wanted and your new plan will become active immediately. Any remaining minutes or data from your previous billing cycle will roll over for the next 30 days of service. You can also cancel your plan at any time. And if you do do this, you'll be able to use your minutes, texts and data until the end of your billing cycle. In terms of the pay as you go credit, you can use this to make calls and send texts at rates which you can find on Tello's website. I think the US rates are a little more expensive, so renewing your plan early is the better option if you run out of minutes or data. But what's great is Tello offers international calling and texting at reasonably affordable rates to a huge selection of countries. And Tello's international support is another area where they stand out. They offer free calling to Canada, Mexico, and China, which is amazing. And again, a huge selection of countries to choose from for making calls from the US to these countries. 
Twigaby has a slightly different approach to international communication. While they don't offer calling, they do offer free unlimited global texting so you can send texts from the US to over 180 countries for free. The way Twigby's plans work is also slightly different. You can make the plans like Tello where you pick what you want and that's it. Just enable the free overage protection when you sign up and this will shut off calling when you hit your limit and switch you to unlimited 2G data when you go over your high speed allotment. The other way to use Twigby's plans is more of a pay as you go approach. Simply sign up for the cheapest plan possible and leave overage protection off. At the end of the month, you'll simply be charged for whatever minute or data category you fall into. So you sign up for 200 megabytes of data and pay $2.25. And when you hit 201 megabytes of data, you'll automatically bump to the 600 megabyte plan at $4.50. And don't worry, you're not double billed or anything. Wherever your usage falls is simply what you end up paying. Now is also a good time to talk about price. So here's the scoop. Telos plans are officially cheaper but Twigby is currently offering 25% off your first six months of service right now, which brings the cost down significantly. However, Tello also has a wider selection of minute and data amounts to choose from, and offering this wider selection opens up a wider variety of plan prices as well. With all deals and promotions in mind, here are how a few similar plans compare between the two carriers. As you can see, Tello's plans remain cheaper for lighter users, while Twigby's 25% off discount gives them the edge for the average to heavy user plans. And here's how the plans compare without Twigby's 25% discount applied. Without the discount, Tello's plans do just edge them out in terms of affordability. Tello also offers up to 10 gigs of data as their maximum amount, while Twigby's maximum is only five gigs. The last thing I wanna to touch on are their referral systems and actually signing up for the service. Tello and Twigby both offer $10 of account credit for referring your friends and family. The credit can be applied to your account or to purchase a new phone. Something interesting to note is while Tello makes it easier to view and manage your referral balance, they also make it harder to use. You get a unique code that there is no way you're going to remember, and when your friends go to join Tello, the referral section is hidden by default. It's almost like Tello secretly doesn't want you to refer people. Twigby, on the other hand, adamantly wants you to refer people. They hid the referral program in this nav bar, which I think is a poor location, but still, not only are they offering double the referral credit for the month of August, so you and your referee can each get $20 of credit, but they also provide social links to share and you can print out paper handouts to give to people. Not only that, I just made a video on how to sign up for Twigby and the spot to enter the referral info is prominently displayed and you have the option to enter the referral information twice, once when you order a SIM card and a second time when you go to activate your service. Referring people is also as easy as knowing their name and number. Although to be fair, with Tello's unique code approach, I can refer you all without giving away my info, which is kind of nice, even though it's it's right there and, and you all know it anyway. But still, I guess my opinion is Tello, it is easier to refer strangers on the internet, while with Twigby, it is easier to refer your friends and family members. And lastly, in terms of signing up for the service, Twigby is much more affordable. So you get the 25% off your six months of service thing, which is great and it can be applied for up to five lines, which is terrific. But you also get a free SIM card and $15 of account credit by using promo code SWITCH at checkout. I detail how to do this in my sign up and activation video. If for some reason the promo code doesn't work, SIM cards are also just $2.99 as when you're signing up for Tello, they are $9.99. So there you have it, Tello versus Twigby both very similar, but also very different prepaid carriers. I think Tello remains best for people who make frequent international calls, who want the ability to make calls via Wi-Fi on the mobile application, and for individuals in general with their overall slightly cheaper plans. And I think Twigby is the clear winner for families. You can have multiple lines on one account, you get 25% off the first six months of service for up to five people, and you get useful tools for managing individual lines and settings. So which would you sign up for? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'll have links to both carriers in the video description in case you're interested in seeing their plans or learning more about their services. As a disclaimer, the links are affiliate links. Using my links to sign up helps support the channel at no cost to you by providing me with a small kickback. Oh yeah, and also feel free to use my tele referral code P3ZFBRX5 
for $10 of account credit. Anyway, that wraps up this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.